Hello and welcome to another episode of our Speakeasy Podcast. I'm John. I'm Ken. What's up, guys? What's happening? What's going on, Ken? Uh, not much, man. Not much. We uh, we uh, got some good stuff that, that we're going to be having in a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, uh, how was your Father's Day, though, first and foremost? Uh, Father's Day was swell. Yes. Yeah, I did a little traveling. Uh, we visited the father-in-law. Okay. Uh, instead of, uh, you know, spending it... Uh, Alone, which was cool. Yeah, uh, it's always nice to see the father-in-law. Yeah. He's a new, uh, a new subscriber. He Who loves the is podcast. my uncle? Actually, it's his uncle. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, we had a good time. Good. It was a very nice yeah. time. Good, yeah. good. Down in Byland. Down in Byland. Yeah. yeah, we enjoyed it. Yeah, cool, man. How about yours? Uh, good. Went out to uh, eat. Had some good food. It was good. Uh, delightful. Very nice. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you to my wife. Thank yes. you. Appreciate it. I. I. I got. I got to praise my wife uh, because um, we're gonna have yeah. an interesting episode today. Yeah. Um, talking about things that. Now, now I'm thinking about it. The father-in-law just started watching the podcast, and now we're gonna. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna go over some wife stuff. Do you today. know <laughs> what John said. <laughs> On that episode, but we'll get to that though. Yeah. I want to. I want to. I want to have it's some all in this, good fun. This uh, this good old bourbon, and um, this one, John actually got in with me for the first time in one of these uh, these groups I'm part of. I told John said, Ken, let me know when they're going to be doing something. He's like, I may be interested. When I told John about it, it was a lot of pauses, a <laughs> lot of hmm. <sighs> Mm, maybe I don't know, and it went to, and then when I said, "Okay, you have till three o'clock tomorrow," because we had the info post first, and uh, but you know, I said sometimes they go quick. Sometimes these bottles go quick uh, within ten minutes, fifteen minutes, but sometimes it, they can sit there for a couple hours. Um, so I I I was trying to get, <laughs> I was texting John, I didn't hear back. And I finally was like, well, I'm going to put mine in at least. Yeah, I was driving. And then uh, finally got back to me. He's like, oh, dude, I'll do it. He's like, if they're still available. I was like, let me find out. So I did it, put in for it. I was able to get a second one. You know what it was? I was I was driving, and the mm. wife was next to me. And, you know, you you popped up on the screen in the oh. car. And so I, I shaved like 40 bucks off the, the price. And I was <laughs> like, yeah, what do you... And she's like, well, I'll give you half for Father's Day, and I'll pay for some of it. Or Oh, really? And I was like, no, no, it's okay. I was just... I really just love this brand, and, you yeah. know, they always have cool stuff, and I hyped up yeah. the, the chocolate. And, yes. And she's like, I'll oh, just do it. And I was like, all right, Ken, Ken yeah, is it too late? Good, is it too late? Good, 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 good. I got permission. <laughs> <laughs> it worked out, yes, because it actually um, it's only a little a little bit extra for shipping. So between the costs, it actually works out when you do end up getting a couple. If you get in with a couple people and yeah. stuff, it, it becomes uh, definitely more worth it. Uh, but so this is one from Good Times, and um, always not show filter. It seems like with these guys, and it's a single barrel straight bourbon whiskey finished in bourbon honey casks and bourbon cacao. <laughs> cask. I, yeah, actually, this one says cocoa casks. Oh, is that the same thing? Is cacao and cocoa the same thing? No, because co- cacao is like the beans, and yeah. cocoa, I think, is... Cocoa's got to be come from a bean. I don't know. Hmm. Coming in at 106 proof, 53% alcohol. This is a limited, rare release. Um, the tater sticker here has uh, the new movie, Wonka, with... Uh, what's his name? That Willie. No, no, the actor. I have no clue. Sam something? Sam? Sam, I don't know. I've, he's got did like you a see French it? Thing. Did you see the new one? I did see it. I l- kind of liked it. I kind of liked it too. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of liked it. I saw it in the movies. It was pretty good. Whoever the guy from uh, Dune, too, he's in Dune as well. Yeah. Um, we're, we're old. But. And uh, yeah, it says Bitto Honey on top. Wonka Bitto Honey. I'll, I'll put the tater st- sticker forward so you guys can take a look at it. I think he dates like a famous celebrity, too. Like somebody who's yeah. hot that he has no reason to be with. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, I think so. You, 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 you pour. yeah. All right, I'm gonna pour while John's looking up this guy's name. <laughs> I, I, I would, if you asked me yesterday, I would have known, but I, for some reason, when we record, I forget everything. I was when we I was listening to our last episode just to see, you know, how it went and everything, and everything. I kept going, "What was her name? Who's this? <laughs> yeah. What's this?" Mm-hmm. Timothy Chalamet. Chalamet. Yeah, yeah. Timothy Chalamet. He's French. <laughs> parlez-vous, parlez-vous, oui, oui. Young guy, though. All right. John, I try not to pour too much of your, uh, yours. Well, he dates Kylie Jenner. Oh, does he? Mm, good for him. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So, nose, John. 
Ooh, getting that cocoa, bro. Yeah, and, the cocoa, yeah. and the honey. Yeah. Now it also on that uh, on the Wonka side there, it's got the Bitto honey. Remember the uh, yeah candy yeah. That's bar what from I just said. Yeah, Did yeah, you yeah. say it? I'm sorry, I was yeah, looking that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, all right. You listening. Oh, my mic, my, my, my ears aren't on. Oh, I'm getting a little cinnamon. Yeah, this smells nice. Ooh, let's do it. So John was a little reluctant because of the honey, right? I'm not a gigantic honey guy. I am, but I'm not. Yeah. Um, if it's over honey, like sometimes I don't it's, think uh, this will be. No, the chocolate I figured would yeah. would balance it. Out. Yeah. Let's see. All right. It's funny when you're drinking it, you get that in your nose. Yeah. There's a lot going on there. Yeah. Like definitely but getting cocoa. On the back end, I get the cocoa. Yeah. Like later. Yeah. I definitely get honey. Yeah. It tastes like a candy bar. Like mm-hmm. a... Second pour, uh, second sip I like better. Yeah. The first one I was like, eh. Once again, these first pours. It might, it might be a little over over chocolatey. Yeah. I feel, you want my honest opinion, I feel that in two weeks, this is going to be fantastic. I think it's good now. Just saying that because we opened my bottle. Now we don't have to open <laughs> no, it. No, 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 no. I, I, I dig it. I like it. I think it's one that has to sit for a little bit. Maybe if we left, let it breathe a little bit. It is, but it's good. I'm getting the notes, and that's the nice one thing legs. we're looking for. It's got nice legs. We're getting mm-hmm. the, but what they're saying is there. We're getting. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, some of them are like really sweet. Mm-hmm. Um, I I feel like the chocolate's a little overpowering a little bit, which is not a bad thing, right? I mean, how can you go wrong with overpowering? I don't know chocolate, but I don't know. It's smooth for the for the proof. Yeah. We should do a side by side with this one. Which one is that? The ooh, the chocolate cream pie. Yeah, I remember that being pretty chocolatey as well. Yeah, and then I had got a whole stash under here. Beautiful, oh, the hot chick. Chocolate pound cake. Ooh, this is yeah. this is not good times. You'll go to pound town with that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good times. No. Oh, okay. San Diego Distillery. Got you. No. Um, All right. Yeah, that I like it though. I like it. I think. Oh yeah, I, I, we didn't do the. I want to do one where I take a sip and a little water. Lots of chocolate. Oh yeah, dessert, bro. Right. Yeah. Nonetheless, I think it's solid, man. Oh, it's good. I'm happy with it. It's definitely good. Yep. I uh, oh probably wind up drinking that fast. Yeah, yeah. By the way, I um. John said he was picking up some sandwiches, some sandwiches from uh, before he got here, and we got I was some like, sandwich. I was like, Johnny, can you? He's going. He was going to Vinnie Mutz and Lindhurst. Uh, I was like, I was like, dude, can you give me a little thing of mozzarella? You know, and he brought it here, and I, I go to put it in the fridge, and he's like, No, <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? doing? What are you doing? <clears throat> I'm like, I don't. I'm not gonna eat this now. We got to record. We got sandwiches. I'm like, I can't. You know, I'm, what am I gonna do? Leave it out? And he's like, Well, I guess. And then I go to him. I'm like. All right, I'm going upstairs. I'm bringing it to my wife. I'm like, it's to your wife, cut a little piece. I'm going to cut a couple pieces right now, just so we know how good it tastes when it's just like just wrapped and made. And so that it, it wasn't out when I got it. on the tray. They have tray all the balls of mozzarella. Yeah, and the one ball they had of mozzarella was like freaking two pounds. It was like gigantic. Uh, all right. And I was like, "Do you have more?" And she's like, "Oh, I'll get the fresh from the back and see if there's smaller ones." I was like, "All right." Yeah. And this one was like a pound and a half or a pound and a yeah. quarter. And I was like, yeah. "Yeah, it's good." Oh, it was so good. Uh, uh. It, I, but I opened it. It made a little mess. So, like all the water, all like because they wrap it right. in the plastic, and yeah. they're still really wet. And I like Vinnie Mutz's because I like that his, his is a, is a tad more saltier yeah. than your typical fresh mozzarella. Yeah. I, you he know. knows what he's doing over there. Oh, he, fantastic! It was fantastic. I go to my wife. I said before I go down, I'm like before uh, I had headed down here into the basement. I was like, uh, am I am I putting this way? Or she's like, <laughs> yeah. she's like. No, you can leave it out. Yeah. You can leave it out. I'll have it's going to be gone by the time it goes. <laughs> I know. Be shitting white for the next two days. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. There's probably more of it on the sandwich than it is in that ball. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to the yeah. sa- sandwich. Um, but, yeah, good stuff, man. Good stuff. Thank you. For- I uh, I had a crazy week. Yeah. Um, What's up? What's up? Well, my my 
daughters are graduating eighth grade. Ah, that's right. Uh, we're actually a couple days before, so they're graduating uh, today. Today. Um, C- congrats. And you're here? And I'm here. Oh, yeah. I told them I love them, but, you know, this is more Priorities. important. More important. <laughs> uh, but they're going to high school, man. It's like... Uh, it's emotional, dude. Like, I have high school children now. This is what the time. What the hell happened? Where'd you, life go? You got to start going to the gym because now you're going to have to beat up some, some heads. You're going to have yeah, to bust some right. heads. You're they're right. Gonna, they're going to start going out on dates and yep. things like that. And you're going to have um, to, you're going you're gonna, to gonna answer the door when the guy comes and be like, who are you? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, bad, what was it, Bad Boys? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, about my, my, well, my first time I ever met my girlfriend's. First, my first girlfriend when I was in like yeah. right after high school, like her father, yeah. he was like cleaning his gun and he's like, You see what I got here? <laughs> I was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, yeah. I guess, I, I guess, um, in a way, I was lucky because my first real girlfriend, um, her parents were divorced and she was estranged from her father, yeah. so it was just a mom, but the I, mom was still tough too, though. I beeped the horn and she came running, yeah. I can't do that, you gotta come in. I'm like, What? <laughs> But uh, yeah, so my uh, eight-year coaching career for soccer came to an end. Uh, okay. We finished with soccer. So what's the deal now? You're done with soccer. I'm done with soccer, and I'm done with softball. We uh-huh. lost in the playoffs, and uh, uh-huh. my my coaching career for all sports uh, is really over. Oh. I do coach summer travel for softball. Okay. Um, so we go until the last week of July, first week of August, around there. And so then I'm you're done coaching. after that. Uh, yeah, and I probably will coach summer travel until they don't want to play no more. They can okay. go all the way up to high school. Oh, uh, okay. So it's a club almost. It's just yeah, it's yeah. just local travel team. But uh, my recreation, like all these years, I did soccer for eight years. Yeah, I did softball for seven. I did basketball for like five, and and it's all at a halt. Mm-hmm. I registered my daughter for high school soccer today. She took her physical, uh, and she's gonna go play for high school. Yeah. Uh, my daughter, the other daughter, is going to do basketball. She got yeah. her physical today, and it's just, uh, it was an emotional, it's an emotional week, man. Yes. Thankfully, physicals aren't the same as they used to be. No. I, I think they were like five minutes in and out. Yeah. You know? Yeah, we, <laughs> we've had this conversation right recently. At, we, uh, we had at our buddy Jay's, and, and John got pretty descriptive about his first physical for high school. Uh, yeah. You see, and then I get the look from the wife. <laughs> You're an idiot. You say stupid things. <laughs> It, but it happened. It <laughs> happened. I took my physical. I was the bowling captain in high school. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So bowling was a winter sport. I uh, forgot that I was going to the physical, which was at the local <laughs> uh, like urgent care type of place. Yeah. And uh, the high school nurse was there, who was my grammar school nurse. She, this whole time I was in grammar school, I had this nurse. And then when I went to high school, she decided to become the high school nurse. So I knew her since kindergarten. Uh, I forgot that the physical was happening. Uh, first off, I decided to experiment with the razor. Uh, so I shaved an arrow pointing down towards the goods because I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> uh, when Dr. Cuckoo Bird, that was his name, says, pull your pants down, they were both like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is, are you trying to tell us something? Yeah. And then they checked my heart rate. And uh, they go to uh, do jumping jacks so we can check your heart rate. And uh, while I you go were... pull up my pants, and they're like, "No, no, 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 just do the jumping jacks." I said, "But no, no, no pants on." <laughs> and they're like, "That's okay." And I did jumping jacks with you know. That's weird. I man. wish it went like this, but it was more like this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was uh, it was a strange thing. And I tell people this story, and I I get funny. Laughs, but then I look at the wife when she's in the room, and I just get awful, like that that one eye. Like, well, know. that's part of it happened. It was a, a funny thing. It there's was... nothing you're gonna do right <laughs> when it comes to telling st- old stories with your yeah. wife in, in the presence. I mean, so what? I said it in front of somebody I never even met before. It was the first time <laughs> meeting her, uh, Jay's friend or Rachel's friend, and uh, <laughs> it was fun. It was in the moment. Yes. You know? yeah. Well, that's kind of going to be our topic of discussion, (laughs) is wives today. Because you know what? We had Father's Day, and we feel special, and we feel that we can... (laughs) We're not going to bash our wives. Do we feel special, though? Because mothers get a day. Yeah. Mothers get a day. Flowers, candy, out to dinner. What do we do? We cook for ourselves. Let's uh, let's invite everybody over. We'll barbecue. I mean, all we want is to be able to sit down on a couch, unbothered. Unbothered. Watch a good movie. Nope. Have a drink. Nope. 
What do you want to go for Father's Day? What do you want to do? What do you yeah. want? You, yeah. you want to cook some steaks? What do you want to do? You want to cook he, on the grill? He, he, no. He, you want to cook on the grill? No, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I don't mind going out to eat though. I don't mind going out. I mean, it's on her dime, so I'm yeah, happy. no, absolutely. I, I would prefer that. Yeah. Um, but you know. Yeah, we're going somewhere local. Uh, I mean, we went somewhere local. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm 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 going back in time. Yeah, here. Uh, we went somewhere local. Yeah, so uh, it, it, that I've been wanting to try out, and it's very good. So, um, uh, I mean, I said, hey, you know, let's drive down to Vineland. Yeah, for Father's Day. <laughs> yeah. But you know, it's by Vineland. Three threes. Are you gonna go? And I last... mean, did you go? <laughs> 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 I Gotta get back in time. I can't. I can't. I can't. Uh, last week I went to the uh, <laughs> which before we do anything else, I have uh, something. I have something for you to try. Oh. Uh, I, I, last week I went to the Jersey City Beer Festival. Okay. And Three Threes was there. All right. And I told him, I said, my wife loves your blueberry, and he's yeah. like, oh, we didn't bring it with us. He goes, are you familiar with us? I go, yeah, back to reality. Like, yeah. Uh, I go, shit, my my wife's, you know. Grandmother died, and we went right to the brewery right yeah. after. Yeah, <laughs> and he's yeah. like, "Oh, I said now we're going down for Father's Day," yeah. and he's like, "You gonna stop in?" I was like, "I hope so." Yeah. Um. So, uh, yeah, I love Three Trees, and it's right there. So, you know, maybe I'll maybe I'll pop in. Maybe I popped in. <laughs> maybe I had a couple beers at Three Trees. Oh, we tried. Uh. So. <laughs> Oh, and I, I had something there for you, actually. Oh, I had one when you were upstairs. Oh, you did. <laughs> yes. I noticed it. I, I, John had fin- finally finished the eight-year-old caramels. I that think we I have had si- one left. No, they were gone. I, I looked. They it were was gone? empty. It was empty. Damn. I looked, and then I'm like, oh, I have these s'more things upstairs. <laughs> I put them yeah, I snatched one. As soon as I saw it, I put my phone on. I was like, ooh, the s'mores. Yeah, yeah. They're, it got replaced. So but, you, can uh, help, you can help with that. So I went to the beer festival in Jersey City, which was Cool, by the way. Yeah. It was a lot better than the one that was in the atrium. Yeah. 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 It was outside. You're, that, it was really cool. I was tempted to go. It's just so far from me. No, man. I know. I get yeah. it. I get it. Uh, our 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 stickers were on. Now there's one on every mm-hmm. cooler. So uh, I loaded the place up. Hackensack Brewery was there. It's funny. Uh, and he was doing a live. Yeah. And I get a notification. I'm just sitting up against the wall and I see Hackensack Brewing going live. So I click on it. And the dude was like across from me. Yeah. And he's walking around. So I ran up to him on my phone. I was like, I'm watching. And he's like, get out of here. He's like, come in. And he did the yeah. live with me. He did the live with me, like, watching him. It was yeah. odd. It was so funny. We were cracking up. Uh, but I got something Did there. you shout out the podcast? I hope you did. No, I didn't. I think uh, I froze. I don't know. Uh, I should have. Right um, what is that? So we love our bourbon. We love our old fashions. And it's an old fashioned in a can. Okay. But I just want you to try it. I'm going to do a little. You want me to put it in the beer thing? No. Grab you, the Four Roses glass. And you can pour mine in the castle and key. All right. I just want you to try and let me know what you think. I thought it was pretty good. All right. I had a sample. The lady let me buy one can. Okay. Uh, and before I show you the can, uh, it's called Flyers is the, uh, is the name. Flyers Old Fashioned. Okay. And I want to see what you think of it. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, it to me, it's not an old fashioned I would per- particularly make. Mine are a little bit more um, orange forward. Okay, a little I, bit. It tastes a little cinnamon. Yeah, it's good. It's actually pretty good. It's good, but what I, if I ordered this at a bar, and they said this is an old fashioned, I may question it. Right. Right. Yeah. You it's know? in a can. It's like a high noon. Yeah. Uh, yes. But there's no bourbon in it. This is strictly THC. Oh, my God. I'm getting high. Yeah. Five <laughs> milligrams of THC. Uh, <laughs> uh, it says oak, vanilla, and bitters. Uh, All right. It's hemp-infused beverage. Uh, bartender-crafted hemp THC cocktail. Alcohol-free. Yeah. Sparkling old-fashioned. Yeah. So they recreated the bourbon oak taste. Okay. Threw in some vanilla and uh, bitters, which I don't taste the vanilla or the bitters. Yeah. Um, and they just threw in some THC. Now, that's the taste I get. I get a 100% THC. I feel like I just smoked like a weed pipe or something. Well, now that you said it, now I got to look for it. Right? This guy giving me roofies. <laughs> <laughs> Fell a drug test. Mm-hmm. 
Um, but I didn't think it was bad, though. It's not bad tasting at all. No. I mean, I wouldn't buy a four-pack of this and sit home and drink it. Yeah. Do they sell it in the stores? Like She it... said they do. They had a whole list. I've never seen it. Yeah. They had this. They had, uh, I believe, margarita and pina colada or something like that. Okay. <clears throat> but I figured uh, she was selling them there. You was... do realize we're doing a few episodes today, right? Yeah. That's why I didn't pour the whole thing. I figured. <laughs> I would, even if we dump it, I don't care. It was, it was like four bucks for the can. <laughs> Um, but I wanted to see what you thought, like when you opened it up, if you tasted bourbon, if you thought it tasted like an old fashioned. I think I, I, the way I presented it, okay. I think is the way I would present it again. It's good, but if I received this at a bar, I'd be like, what, what the hell is this? this? Yeah, this is not an old fashioned. I'm not getting that bourbon, that heat, any kind of heat from Nothing. alcohol. I'm not getting no. it. Yeah. You're just getting high as a kite. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting. It, it doesn't have bad flavor. It doesn't have, no. you know, I, I think kudos to, Making something, putting in the effort to make it, you know, taste like it. I, I don't think it's it's bad. It, it's, I mean, it, let me try one. More time. <laughs> mm. Do you taste the THC? I feel like I do. There's a bitterness to it, so I don't know. But if you told me, I almost feel like this is to me a little bit more Long Island iced tea ish, mm, yeah, rather yeah. than old fashioned ish, right? You know, right. I don't know how much five milligrams of THC is. I don't know if that's high or low. I'm not a weeder guy too much. We'll find out in a few. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but I, like I said, I thought it was interesting. Uh, no alcohol. Yeah. Um, 21 and over. All right. Only 10 calories. So I kind of. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the warning. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, not, not too bad. I'll sip on I, whatever. I, uh, I forgot to ask you, like, were you in rehab? Are you allowed to have marijuana? Are you allowed to have THC? Are you allowed I, know. To, I know. You get drug tested at work? Or nah, what? Yeah, I know, right? Um, I've been there for a couple of years. I haven't. But, uh, but yeah. So, you're going to get me in trouble now with the wife. You know that, right? Well, she no. doesn't watch the podcast. She don't watch the podcast. Yeah. Mine did. She don't anymore. Which brings us to this our next let's, topic. Let's do it. John and I are going to talk about, not necessarily our wives, we're going to talk about women, I think. I think that's going to be, I, let's just say women. Let's not say our wives, because then we, you know, we can get in trouble like that. So you can just say right. things that bother gonna, us. Things that, that, might, that, things that us might bother you a little bit. I'm going to say things that women do, particularly maybe sometimes my wife, that, that just bothers us. Yeah. Bit. Yeah. My list is probably maybe a little more detailed than yours. Yeah. Uh, why don't you start? <clears throat> All right. So you know what I have a problem with? Women drivers, right? My wife. <laughs> yep, he said it. <laughs> uh, God bless her because she don't mind driving. Yes. Which I love. Yeah. She'll drive anywhere. Yeah. Like if I say, hey, I don't feel like going driving to Vineland. She's like, yeah. I'll drive. Let's uh, go. Okay. That's drive great. me to the, I'll drive to the brewery. Do you mind driving yeah. back? No, because she doesn't yeah. drink that much. But she's a little slow. Not as fast as me. Yeah. She does the speed limit. Okay. But there's something about a woman driver. When it's time to like break, she speeds up first before she breaks. So now okay. it's like, what are you doing? Why are you speeding up? Everybody okay. else's lights are red. Yeah. Why do you go straight up to the person in front of you before you change lanes? You go up, you break, then you look, then you look, <laughs> then you look, then you go. <laughs> like, why not? Just change go. lanes like or way before you. You see them coming. Why not just change lanes see, and then go? Mine is the opposite. She breaks a mile before. Yeah, no. She'll see the brake lights of the car that's 20 cars ahead, and she'll break. And I'm like, why are you braking what, for? Yeah, right? That car is a mile away. Yeah, no. <laughs> if we see our block, and it's time to like make the left, she'll speed up and then break and go. Yeah. And like, why are you? It's time to slow down. So now. maybe why that's not a wife, a wife thing. That might be just an individual thing. Maybe that, you know, I don't know if that's a woman thing, mm. but maybe it's just an individual thing. Um, and... Speaking of driving, if I'm driving, my yeah. wife is the worst backseat driver yeah. there is. Yeah. What are you doing? Why are you? Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. What are you doing? Oh, no, no. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Oh, you... And I, a couple of times I slam on the brakes. I'm like, what? You're making me slam on the brakes. Mine does the same. Mine yeah. does the same. Yeah. Or she'll go to right to sleep. Women. 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 At nighttime. When I go into the bedroom and my wife's asleep, I'm a ninja. I will 
tippy toe. I will close the door so that the knob is not even turned yet, and I will bring that door closed, mm -hmm. and then I'll slowly turn mm -hmm. it back around. And you're tiptoeing. Then I tiptoe. I'll, I'll even turn the volume down on the TV because she sleeps falls asleep with the TV on, mm -hmm. and she has the volume up, and I'll turn that down. Just to kind of ease that, you know, that that you're sleeping. You're sleeping. You know, I'm I don't want anything. I don't want, I don't want something loud on the TV to right. startle you while I'm in the room. Right. I'll 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 do everything. I use the bathroom. I'll make sure when I'm on the toilet that I fart very quietly. <laughs> spread your cheeks over. <laughs> <laughs> or if I'm in the bed, <laughs> right? You spread those cheeks. When my wife comes in she's maybe she went out with her friends or and it's not just at nighttime it's in the morning because she gets up before me we have these drawers on the bed uh, that are part of our bed the door the drawers are slammed <laughs> the bathroom door ching, you know everything everything that i hear the hair dryer go she she i she's actually left the door open in the bathroom while she's blowing hair drying her hair a and i'm like it's on my list. It's on my list. Hey, okay, you have it on I, yours? It's on my list. All I right. mean, it, it, if I have a day off and she's got to go to work in the morning, it's like, boom, with the drawers. <laughs> Open up the door like you just, like, you came in back from the military after 20 years. Like, you kicked the door it's down. It's almost like they're mad at you. The light goes on. Yes, the yeah. light. She, we have the closet adjacent to our heads on the bed. Closet. She can easily close that door. I feel like she squirts her perfume in the ceiling fan, so it just goes right up my nose. <laughs> But when I'm doing it, I got like I'm using the flashlight on my phone. And I'm like, dude, yes, dude. yes, yes. I take out my socks and I stare at her. Yes, I I have my phone with me. I have my phone with the light, because so, I have uh, my thyroid medication. I'll have to take that. So I gotta, I just, I move everything slow. Yeah, no. I have the light there. You're like a fucking like, ninja. Yes, walking around the room like, eh, but yeah. not them. No, not them. No, with them it's slam it's this. All slam go. That. Everything goes. And and then and I she's like if I gotta be up you gotta be up and I hear every and and then she starts to talk to herself and she's like oh shit oh shit oh, oh. Yep. And, and and all this stuff and I'm like oh that's why I keep hearing this noise my wire and she's like and I hear all the curses and I hear everything and she's like upset about this and she's like. Damn it! Damn it! And I'm like, oh god! I just want ten more <laughs> minutes to sleep. I yeah. told you. Yep. And then I'm a grouch. She'll blow the nose. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like, I'm my, my nose is running all over the place. But I'm just using yeah. the sheets because I don't want to wake her up. Just doing the dab, the yeah. dab, the <laughs> yeah. little dab. Yeah. And then I hear. <laughs> It's like it's like a a, a boat uh, in the the the, the, yep. the captain like a foghorn. Is, yeah, the foghorn is blowing the foghorn. <laughs> and I'm like. You serious? So I'm not the only one. Oh my god! Oh my god! What else? You know what drives me nuts? All yeah, right. What? Our dishwasher broke down. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Before you start that. Yeah, yeah. Women. Women. <laughs> uh, women. <laughs> we. My dishwasher broke down. Yeah, for, right. I didn't have a dishwasher for like a month. All right. Uh, we cleaned the dishes. You know, it was nice. Everything was readily available every night. Mm -hmm. My wife, for some reason. The dishwasher has to be at like fucking maximum capacity before she <laughs> runs it, right? So every spoon, every fork, every knife, yeah. every dish has to be in the dishwasher. Yeah. Before she turn, I don't want to waste water. Yeah. I haven't had a fucking clean fork in four days. What do you mean I want to? <laughs> She's like, well, we can fit a few more things in there. <laughs> what are we doing? You just take it out and hand wash. I just it. wash it. Yeah. yeah. What are we doing? Yeah. Why? What? We probably waste more money. With the water running for 20 minutes doing the dishes. Yeah. So just run a small ass load. It's yeah. the same with clothes. The clothes will sit in the washer machine yeah. because it's not a full load. <laughs> yeah. what, why? Yeah. Now I got to take your half load out and put yeah. my full load in. And I, I it drives me up a freaking wall. So I do laundry about really, I mean, I have a lot of like underwear and stuff so I don't have to go do it that often so like like maybe once every few weeks. Yeah. I do my own laundry. Yeah, I do my, my wife own. doesn't do mine cuz I don't trust yes, her. Yes, exactly. I do my own laundry. I want to make sure that my shirts don't shrink cuz then they'll exactly never fit me. Exactly my own exactly. <laughs> they'll my never own. fit me again. Nope. Um but yes, so she'll do the same thing. She'll throw things in there. It'll sit there. It'll sit there. So if I have to do my laundry, I got to take everything, everything out. out that she has in there. But here's the thing. I have to announce. I almost have to schedule 
I have to schedule like scheduling an appointment. Yes. And I say, I'm going to have to do my laundry once every few weeks. Hers, her, it's like every like couple days. And I'm like, I'm gonna be doing it. I'm, but I need to do this, and I need to do that in the laundry room, and I need to do this. And I'm like, honey, I do this once every few weeks. Just give me that time, that slot, that time slot in there. Can I book this appointment, please? I'm just please. laughing that you do laundry once every few weeks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I got a lot of clothes. In. I, I have a lot of underwear. I, I have a lot of underwear. I do. Oh. I have a drawer that's like filled with underwear. That's the only important thing. Like a shirt. If oh, a shirt, shirt doesn't I'll wear have a, six times. I know. If a shirt doesn't have a stain on it, that's yeah, that's. Literally. It's like getting a brand new shirt. She's like, you're not gonna wash your brand new shirt. I'm like, no, you're gonna ruin no. it if you wash that. Yeah. Thing right away. You realize this is the only time it's gonna look this crisp. <laughs> yeah. It's like this one I'm wearing right now. I might just got it yesterday. I'm like, it's crisp. It's clean. But you're right. You got to make an appointment, hun. Can I put my laundry in? Well, yeah. I have a half a load. So Sitting in there. Well, where's the other half? Well, it's not ready yet. Well, I, I, I quick wash, small load. Fine, I'll turn my underwear inside out. Yeah, I'll get two uses out of it. Yeah, no, I hear you. I hear you. My wife loves women. 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 My, my wife loves to tell me the same thing, thirty different ways in a half hour. <laughs> So all she has to say is, for instance, say it's something like, and I'm just throwing this out of nowhere, make sure the lid's closed on the garbage when you bring it outside. And she has never said that to me, but I'm just giving you an example. And just, she'll tell me every single reason why. It's because the bears and the raccoons and this and that, and make sure it exists and that. And, and then yeah, it goes on, okay. and I it goes it. on. I get it. And then it goes, especially, and it's the worst you messed up one time. Oh, yeah. One time. They'll always remind you. They will remind you. You are punished for the rest stone. of your life for that one time mm -hmm. you did something wrong. Mm -hmm. And it could have been something innocent. It could have been, which is usually the case, honestly, I forgot. Yeah. Honestly, I forgot. I know what I'm supposed to do. And I know what I did was wrong. But I'm going to hear for the next half hour, and then listen to this. First five minutes, you have my attention. After that, I start to wander. Yeah. <laughs> and I start to look around. I start to do, I have someone texting me on my phone. I'm, I'm wanting to look at this, but I can't look at it because I'm going to get yelled at if I look at it. And I have to hear it. And then the last 10 minutes of that half hour, that's when she real, real, really realizes that I'm not paying attention. And then... That's when all hell comes. Oh, yeah. Why aren't you listening to me? You just want to play on your phone. You just want to do this, and you just want to do that, and you want to do that, and everything. And I'm like, I heard you the first two minutes. <laughs> I heard you. I get it. I got the message. I got the message. I'll never do it again. I swear. I swear. I swear. I'll never leave the lid open on the garbage can. I swear. <laughs> Yeah, my, mine. I mean, mine's like a mine comes home and she's got to tell me about her day, oh. and that's like I might as well fucking pop popcorn, get a fucking drink, <laughs> kick off the shoes yeah. because it's like theatrics. Yeah, you know, and it's <laughs> a five minute story. And you know how people say like to make a long story short. Yeah, no, no, it's not nope. short. It's not short. Nope. Let me cancel no. my calls. <laughs> yes. Let me. You know. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> if I'm leaving a room because I have to go somewhere. That's when the conversation, she wants to start the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm like, I'm like I, I'll, I'll even say, I got to get going in a minute. Yeah. I got to run. Yeah. I, I got to be somewhere. And then as I'm walking away, so do you know what happened the other, I'm like, well, no, 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 honey, no, no, you gotta wait. no. You gotta wait. I, I'll, now it's, I'll, I'll, I'm like, I want to hear it. I want to hear your story. <laughs> I promise I do. I want to hear it, but I got to get the hell out of here right yeah, now. I, I have to leave. I ha Oh yeah. If you I have got to, diarrhea. Yeah. That's the other thing. You have to use the bathroom. I, I, I got to use the bathroom. How come you use the bathroom 25 times a day? <laughs> because your stories. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, especially like I, I could have like diarrhea and I have to run and like race to that bathroom. The second she hears that, so tell me, so so like, how was you, you know, what's going on with this? Yeah, did you pay that bill yet? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, what? that needs to be paid. Uh, Mine calls me from the car as soon yeah. as she leaves work. <laughs> my phone rings. I look at. It, I'm like, hello. She's like, hi. <laughs> what's up? How's it going? <laughs> you 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 work eight minutes away from the house. <laughs> what, what what are we doing here? You know, I hate the phone. What are we doing? Yeah. Oh, I had the craziest day. 
I get a text within a minute. Mm. I'll be running to the hardware store up the block, and I'll get a text like, "These freaking dogs can't won't stop barking." I'm like, I'm like, did you need to text me that right <laughs> yeah, yeah, now? Yeah. Text the dogs. I'm, Tell them I'm in the driveway right now. I'm just running to the store. I'll be back in five minutes. <laughs> five minutes. You it's can tell me all about it. It's what they do when I leave. They bark. Yes. <clears throat> Women. <laughs> Women. We're, we're getting in trouble for this. Oh, yes. But that's, yeah, that's another thing. That's, that's. Uh... My, 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 one of my biggest things is, let, let's open this. This is looking interesting. I'm getting thirsty because I don't know if I want to dive into that THC drink anymore. I don't know. I want to get high. Yeah. This is. Uh, By this the way, is... that last sip of this Good Times was even chocolatey, bro. Yeah, it was. Is that a good thing? Yeah. Or is it too much? No, I liked it. This uh, this looked interesting. I brought it over. I saw it in the fridge, and I was like, "It's hot outside, man. We yeah. were we're knocking on summer's door, yeah. right?" This is called watermelon water ice from Source. It is a water ice style sour ale made with watermelon. Seven seven point five percent. So it's no joke. Oh. Ooh, it's gonna be a long day. Source makes some pretty good sours. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Oh, it's a pretty color. Oh, nice and pink. Nice. Thanks, Looks sir. Like liquid watermelon. Thanks for bringing this. See, we normally don't do many sours on no, this. No, but show, he, John was but on the fence about it. I said, no, nah, break it out, okay. dude. Let's do oh, it. I got a lot more than you. I'm eh, sorry. That's all right. So, uh, yeah, like I said, this is Source uh, Watermelon Sour Ale. And uh, seven and a half percent. And, okay. Uh, let's. All right. It smells like a sour, but you're getting that watermelon, man. Watermelon's high. Yeah. Mm. I'm high. Cheers. Cheers. Watermelon sugar. Ooh. High. Watermelon sugar. That's not bad. That's really, really good. That's not, like, sour at all. No, I'm kind of pissed off you gave yourself more now. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, really good. I mean, they hit the nail on the head, the notes, everything. Like John said, not overly. Hints of sour. Tastes like watermelon Jolly Rancher. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Man. I definitely got to get my hands on some more of this. Yeah, not like uber sweet. They had a blue raspberry too, but I don't know. Watermelon, I think, is... This is fantastic. Yeah, I'm digging this. Seven and a half percent. That's sneaky. That is sneaky, sneaky. Good job, Source. Mm. Out of uh, what, Colt's Neck? Colt's Neck. Mm-hmm. Love me some Source. Mm-hmm. Straight from the Source. Straight from the Source. Yeah. Good stuff, man. This is really solid. Yeah. Good stuff. Good. Um, all right. Are we, are, are we going to are we we gonna keep digging this grave? Well, I got, I got one or two more that. Uh, okay, okay. Um, when I. When you eat like chips, yeah. When you're watching TV, do you put it in a bowl? Do you you put it in a you keep it eat it right out of the bag? <laughs> I've done both. Okay, so I'm guilty. Me too, of but if yeah. the bag's like wide open, I just stick my hand. Yes, in and take one. yes. Yeah, Typically out of the bag. Yes. Okay. How come they have to? Well, I don't know about yours, but mine's like. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, you're driving me crazy with the bag. <laughs> put it in a bowl. Take a bunch out and put it in your yeah, hand, you and, and it took from there. Yeah. But you're, you're, the bag, I feel like you're crinkling every two seconds. Yeah. I feel like you open it, you open it like halfway, and then you got to force <laughs> your hand in. I can't hear the movie. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, well, the volume's so loud. How can you not hear it? Because yeah. I'm I, I, now I'm watching you eat no, instead no. of watching the movie. Okay, I don't have that issue necessarily with my wife, but I do have this issue when it comes to watching a movie. My wife loves to have a conversation, side conversation, not even about the movie. <laughs> yeah. She wants to talk and have a conversation while we're watching the movie. And I said, and I get angry because I'm, I'm a movie guy, and I'm like, I, t- I say this all the time, honey, say pause, say pause, <laughs> say pause. <laughs> Because then I'll pause it, and then we can have that conversation if you want to have that conversation. But I'm not going to have this conversation when I'm trying to hear what that guy's saying, because uh-huh. that could be the whole plot twist right there. Yep. And you're screwing it up right now. And now I have to rewind it, because you just want to have a conversation. Yep. But we never get to talk about things. I'm like, uh, So um, let's wait until we put the movie on. <laughs> yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah. Not when we're sitting at the table eating dinner or in a car. <laughs> no, let's wait until the movie goes on. I know, on. I know. Or... Ah, it's the worst. I, when after nine o'clock is wine down time for me, 
That means I have my bourbon. I sit on my recliner. I'm starting to just wind down. I'm almost at that point where I'm almost like getting to coma. Like I just want to almost like prepare for bed in a way, you know? Mm -hmm. You're drinking your nightcap. I just like to just chill, watch a show. Sometimes it's a show that I don't care if I'm really paying attention to, but I'm just like almost like background noise sometimes. But I'm winding down. And that's when the deep conversations get presented. And I'm like, I can't. I have about an hour left of being awake right now. Do you still find me sexy? <laughs> Not at fucking nine thirty when I'm fucking falling asleep. No. With a bourbon in my hand. I don't hear no, that I one, but you no, know, it's more. You know, we could talk about our son in school and things like that, or or the plan for this or that, or the plan and detailed stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm yeah. hardly functioning right now. <laughs> yeah, brains on. Uh, yeah, my brain. Being I'm down. on autopilot right now. I'm not even functioning. I'm just sitting here. Um, and I say, I'm like, talk to me about this stuff like in the afternoon. Yeah. I just had my coffee. I'm ready to discuss. I'm ready. I'm, let's do it. I'm good. I'm good to go. Yeah. Not at nine thirty, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock at night, where I'm like, I can't pay attention right now. Especially, it's even better when we've. I've had a few drinks. Yeah. Because then I'm like, I've even said it. I'm like, honey, I'm drunk. <laughs> yeah, <go ahead. laughs> I can't do this. Listen, I'm not gonna remember this tomorrow. Can we just do this during the day? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. My, mine during a movie will be like if it's a movie that I watched before and she hasn't and we're watching it, she'll be like, Is he gonna die? Mm -hmm. Can you can watch and find out? And exactly. Like, why can't why do I have to tell you what happened? Exa exactly. I'll say she'll be like, So what's going on here? I'm like, Watch. You're watching the same thing I'm watching <laughs> yeah, right watch. now. Women. Women. <laughs> Is Sloth gonna go live with Chunk? Watch the movie. You'll find out at the it's end. Sloth You'll gonna... find out at the end. But you, you, you've watched it. We'll watch <laughs> things that we've never watched before, either of us. And I'm like, I've never watched this before. <laughs> I don't know. I have no clue. Uh, no clue. But yeah, but I, I figured you would have read up on it or something, or you would have know what was going the premise of it. I'm like, no, I, I can't read the future. I don't know the future. Um, so no, I can't have this conversation right you now. You know what mine does when I'm watching TV? So she don't like to watch what I watch. Yeah, I watch right. reality TV. I yeah. still watch wrestling. Like I'm like yeah. I'm a big baby. It's true. And baseball. And she'll watch like CSI mm -hmm. and Law and Order, but she'll watch it on her phone. Or she'll watch like Seinfeld. Yeah. You know? And she'll fucking laugh hysterical. <laughs> like sit next to me. And I'm like, what are you laughing at? Like this yeah. guy just got body slammed on the floor. <laughs> the Yankees are losing six nothing. What are you laughing at? She's like, this show's so funny. And I'm like, well, who the fuck cracks up out loud by themselves? Like, <laughs> like even when I watch something funny, I don't really crack up out loud. No, I don't. Right? I don't. And she's like, fucking tears are coming down. And I know. She's laughing, at, and I'm like, what the fuck are you laughing at? My wife will look at my reaction when she starts cracking up at something. She'll look at my reaction, <laughs> yeah. and then she starts cracking up at me. She's like, you don't. React. Yeah, so she says the same thing. Yeah. Right? Mine goes, you don't laugh. If I laugh at something, she's like, wow, that must have really been funny because you don't <laughs> laugh. But the funny thing is, we're not laughing because they said something. Like it, sometimes it's just the dumbest things. Like some guy like tripped or something. You know, yeah. or they did something like they they said something kind of messed up or whatever. You know, and we're just laugh. It's not even laughing because you're telling a joke necessarily. <laughs> you know, but or stupid humor. You know, but that's just our sense of humor. I don't laugh at like you know dumb things, but I mean I think that's about all I got really uh, on my uh, side. I so mean, I, I got one more that I really I don't know. Oh, well but now you have to. It's, you it's, have to. It's the whole the whole snoring thing. So uh, my wife's got like a, a deviated septum that she needs surgery, and I'm like, yeah. I'll pay for it if you do it. I'll fucking pay for it. Yeah. I'll take you to Mexico and we'll get it done. <laughs> But she's like a fucking weed whacker, man, and a yeah. helicopter, and she's got all these noises. And I, yeah. every night I take a video of her and like me crying because I can't sleep. <laughs> and then in the morning I send it to her and she laughs. And I'm yeah. like, yeah, it's, it's fucking, it's funny, right? It's yeah. funny. Yeah. I haven't slept in 12 years, but that's okay. Yeah. Thankfully, so my wife, she's not bad with snoring. Uh, she has snored before. She says I snore when I drink, like a, a lot. I snore too. I get it. Yeah. But. I, I don't I purposely don't sleep on my back because if I did I would snore. I, I can't sleep on my back anyway. Yeah, I'm so I've always been scared I'd swallow my tongue or my throat. <laughs> oh, yeah. I sleep on my side or my belly yeah, I and my so I, I don't really have that issue. Like I said, unless I'm kind of one too many and then maybe you'll hear your snore coming out of there or something. But thankfully Well, I did sleep in a room with you. 
uh, just quite a few months ago. So. Yes, in yeah. Kentucky. Did yeah. I snore? Well, did I? Um, I'm, I'm, I you, you were probably out. I was out. You were probably out too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> I let I let everybody go to sleep before me because I'm yeah. afraid I'm going to wake them up if I do snore. Oh yeah, no, I. Uh, I, I'm usually, for the most part, if unless I, like I said, I had a lot. Of, I, I I've been told I'm a kind of a quiet sleeper, but yeah. but depends. No, I definitely snore, but um, not but like that. Thankfully, we do have a guest room, so we often, way often, don't even say share the room because she has problems where she wakes up in the middle of the night a lot, and she needs to put the TV on. So at least. I thank her for this because if she put the TV on, it'll wake me up and I'm never going back to sleep. Yeah. For her, it actually helps her go back to sleep. So she'll put uh, the TV on and, you know, or whatever. So she'll just go to the other room. I actually sleep like four to five hours a night, every yeah. night, because I have a hard time falling asleep. Yeah. Then when I do fall asleep, I wake up a couple hours later and once I hear that, <laughs> I can't fucking go back to sleep anymore. <laughs> and that's it. Then I'm singing. I'm singing uh, songs in my head. No earplugs. This. No, I, I'm scared to get wedged in. John had warned me and said, "Bring earplugs." I, I didn't use them once while we were in Kentucky. Not at all. I was fine. But then once again, we probably because when few. I'm drinking, I, I snore big yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I must have been pretty be- out myself because. Yeah. Well, I the thing is, we just up. we drank ourselves to sleep. So. Yeah. <laughs> and the one time, you know, it was nice when you um you were spooning me. It was fun, man. Yeah, well, I liked it. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. We man. had two different beds good. too. I don't know how I wound up here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. Those aren't pillows. <laughs> and something that my my butt has never felt the same since. Yeah. But yeah. such is life. Such is life. I I mean I um, think. I mean, I'm 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 good. I mean, that's really all I'm gonna. Spew oh, because one more I'm in thing. Trouble, but one more thing before I even get in trouble. Get too too much. I mean, John, I think John's put out a little bit more than me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna throw one more thing in there. The when things have to get done, say we have to clean this, caulk this, do that, whatever. I don't hear one thing at a time. I hear a whole list of thirty things. Your honey to do honey do list. Yes, about thirty things. And then automatically, I'm starting to get, I, I, the anxiety kicks in. I start to get overwhelmed. And I'm like, enough already. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Just tell me one thing that we're focusing on now. <laughs> complete that thing. And then we'll go on to the next. Yeah. You just told me 30 things. Do you think I'm going to remember all that? Yeah. Do you think I'm going to know all this? Well, I'm blessed because I can't even hang a picture on a wall. So my wife's like, hey, do you mind caulking the, I'll, I'll do it myself. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, honey. You're better than me. No, forget it. Here, no. I, I, I mean, she'll help with things. Like when we redid the, I, we redid the dining room, yeah. and she, she is an expert with taking wallpaper down. Mm-hmm. That she has the patience for. Good for her. Yeah. Me, I'm kind of like, all right, I'm gonna install the, uh, the, the boards and the painting, and I'm gonna do the trim, and I'm gonna do everything, nope. uh, the door, all that stuff. I can do that, but. Like the thing, the little intricate things that take forever, like using a steamer to remove and adding your yeah. There's no patience for that. Yeah, no, 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 not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. I, not like me, I'm like, honey, you need a flathead? What are you doing <laughs> yeah. in there? You need my you need a oh, hammer? Oh gosh, if a toilet's running, yep. All right, all right, I'll take a look. I'll take a look. I'll, I'll call somebody, honey. Well, that is more of a priority, but it's like these little things, you know, like a caulking this or whatever, a caulking that or re caulking this or what the caulk? I don't do nothing to that shit. Oh <clears> gosh. There's always I don't something. Give the caulk. We have our storage room down here in the basement. She's like, that room needs to be cleaned out. I'm like, oh, I know, but she's great at telling you things that need to be done, but she's not great at telling me the solution. Where are we gonna put this stuff then? <laughs> if you want to get rid of like I'm like, if you want it clean is it going to be shifted from one room to the next room? <laughs> is it going to be, or like if we have, like here, this is another one I love in the morning. If I had, if we got mail the day before, she will take all my mail. Anything that I maybe had on the counter, it's going right on the table where I sit and need to eat my breakfast. It's going right there. So you know. Dead in center. And I'm like, you know, I kind of just want to eat right now i don't want to look through this right now i don't want to do that whatever i mean i'm sure she has a different side of it and that's the whole thing we're you know and uh, to give our wives the benefit of the doubt there's there are reasons for it. we're not perfect no, we're far from it especially me yeah I, I said i can't hang a picture on the wall i'm a procrastinator yeah. <laughs> you know I'll, I'll tell you this story real quick just to brag on me about f- five or six years ago when I was working, I worked for a bank, and I was working in the branch, and I had to wear a yeah. shirt and tie, yeah, 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 and all that. So I bought a nice brand new armor, 
so I can hang all my shirts because we oh, shared yeah. one closet. And I was like, I'm gonna take my stuff out of the closet. Everybody's nice arm arm. I put my shirts, yeah. my pants, hang them nice, my ties. Yeah. And then I got promoted. We went to uh, IKEA. Yeah. And we bought all the boxes. And you know, one one dresser comes with like six boxes. And I said, I'm gonna paint the room, uh, and then put up the the, the new dresser and the new yeah, armor yeah, yeah. and everything. And that armor is still in the IKEA box <laughs> behind my couch because number one, I hate painting. I don't feel yeah. like painting my room. <laughs> yeah. I don't really need it anymore because I got yeah. nothing to hang. Yeah, you know. And I'm just like, and she's like, are we ever? It's she's like, it's like five years sitting in there now. You, you probably need to do it. So, man. <clears throat> you probably do. So God bless her. She's a handy person. Uh, I am not. We love our wives. Just we 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 do like to uh, rant about things, yeah, and we're having you fun. know, I'm it, sure if they did a podcast about us, oh it'd be my fucking like two god. hours long. Oh my god, yeah. Well, we're blessed to have you in our lives, but we are. all in good fun, ladies. All in good fun. Yes, You're not watching. We have to. Though. This is full disclosure. We have yep. to. Say my father-in-law pop just between us. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we don't need to talk about it. Yeah, we don't. Uh, awesome source, great. This is source? this exceeded my expectations. Yeah, I like this. Good times, awesome, fantastic. Yes, love it. Flyers, old fashioned THC drink. Uh, Thanks for getting me high, John. Thanks. Yeah, it's messed up. It's messed up. Actually, it was not bad. It was pretty good. Happy Father's Day to everybody out there. Yeah, congratulations happy, uh, to all the graduates, deleted fathers, and uh, graduates, promers, promers, all those people. Yep. Awesome stuff. John, cheers. Cheers, brother. Cheers to you. Cheers to you.